What's up guys, it's Coding Jesus, and today I wanted to talk about a theme that I hear brought up a lot regarding the software engineering space, and that is whether there is too much to learn to become a software engineer or whether there's too much to learn in the software engineering space as a whole. And I think it's important to discuss this because I think that a misunderstanding or a misconception about the answer to this question leads a lot of people to not pursue software engineering. So it's repellent and it leads people that are naturally apt to be software engineers, that are smart, that have the foundation, that have that uh, uh, analytical ability or that analytical thinking, it pushes them away from the space. So you guys know I'm a straight shooter. I'm gonna give you the answer and I'm gonna explain why. The answer put simply is yes, there is way too much to learn, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. Why? All right, so, why is there so much to learn in the software engineering space? The reason being is because the software engineering space is broad. It is technology. It is the application of technology. And just like the universe is continuously expanding and is ever so expansive, in fact, we don't even know if there's a limit to the end of the universe, so too is the software engineering space completely expansive, constantly growing, and constantly you know, churning out new technology, new concepts, new patterns, new languages, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now why is that not necessarily a bad thing, Coding Jesus? Well, most likely in your career as a software engineer, you're gonna specialize at something. That might be app development, it might be web development, it might be trading systems, it might be gaming systems, it might be hardware, it might be software. I know I'm limiting the space or the scope of this discussion to software, but regardless, hardware is its own beast within itself, okay? So like, so like, like software, hardware in itself is also an expansive universe. Now, why is it okay that there is so much to learn, that there is too much to learn? Well, the answer is because most of the stuff that you need to learn, or most of the stuff rather that there is to learn, you don't actually need to learn. When you go ahead and specialize in a given industry, you are limiting the scope of the applicable software engineering universe to the concepts and foundations that are critical for that industry. So if you go into gaming, I'm sure there are certain concepts that are super critical that aren't critical if you go into front-end web development. Of course, there is potentially some crossover, but it's safe to say that once you specialize in an industry, there is a given subset of concepts that are particularly important for that industry. For example, in the trading space, it's very important to understand how a CPU works because often in high frequency trading, many companies either use FPGAs or they bypass the operating system completely. So it's important to understand that your code is CPU friendly while potentially in the front end development space, that isn't even a consideration. You might not even know how a CPU works at all. Right, so there is a scope of applicable technology or applicable concepts for everybody in their industry. Now that doesn't mean that you can sit in an industry and become a pro at it in one or two years. In fact, it's the opposite. You can be in an industry for one or two years and still not know anything. And I don't say not know anything in the sense that you're completely clueless. I say it in the sense that you are humble because you admit that there is so much more to learn in that industry. I know people in the gaming industry that have been there for five to 10 years and they still say, you know, I, I don't know anything. Of course, it's, they're being humble. But what they're really getting at is there is so much more to learn in the industry and that's okay, right? So you don't have to go ahead and know everything out there regarding technology. Rather, you should become a pro or an expert or somebody close to, as close to an expert as you can, can become in the industry that you want to specialize in that's relevant for you. Okay, guys, I hope this was informative. I hope you kind of gained some perspective on whether there is too much to learn in the software engineering industry because I think the answer, yes, without listening to the caveat that, hey, you don't have to actually know everything, turns a lot of people off when they just hear the yes, but they don't get the caveat. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, guys, so you can spread the gospel of coding Jesus. We have a Discord link in the description box below, so if you wanna join our Discord, you're more than welcome to. We have a community currently of around 120 people, constantly growing. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm gonna leave it at that. Have a good day.